Not a good place, sir. Come on, man. Thank you. Uh, thank you all for being here. As you know, as we've gone through, government has a responsibility in the House and the Senate to pass 12 appropriation bills every single year. Historically, they never do it. When I became Speaker, I wanted to change that process. So we put in a provision to even punish you if you did not get your job done, a 1% cut kind of across the board, if you don't get it done by the end of the time. We have now found the Senate has, has continued to do the same way. They have not passed one appropriation bill. The House, we passed 70% of the discretionary spending that we need. We need more time to get the job done. I do not believe our troops should be punished for not getting the job done in the House and the Senate. I do not believe the Border Patrol agents should be punished. I do not believe the American public should be punished. So I want to keep government open while we finish our job to secure the border. The President, he's been gone. He's been in California. He's been every place else. The one place he hasn't been at the border. He has gone to more dinners with Hunter Biden's business associates than he has to the border in 50 years. But what we're going to do now, because the Senate cannot act in time, government would shut down. The House is going to act so government will not shut down. We will put a clean funding stopgap on the floor to keep government open for 45 days for the House and Senate to get their work done. We will also, knowing what had transpired through the summer, the disasters in Florida, the, the horrendous fire in Hawaii, and also the disasters in California and Vermont, we will put the supplemental portion that the President asked for in disaster there too keeping the government open while we continue to do our work to end the wasteful spending, end the wokeism, and most importantly, secure our border. Chief Thank you. Did, did you get any assurances from any of the Republican holdouts that they will support this? No, look, we, I have tried for eight months. It took me a long time to finally get the appropriation bills on the floor. They were delayed. I tried yesterday with the most conservative stopgap funding bill you could find that secured our border, that cut spending, and I couldn't get 218 Republicans on. This will be on suspension. It takes a higher threshold. But what I am asking, Republicans and Democrats alike, put your partisanship away. Focus on the American public. How can you, in good conscience, think of the men and women who volunteer to risk their lives to defend us to say they can't be paid be why we work out our differences. That is unfair. I cannot do that to our men and women in uniform. And so we're going to keep government open while we work our differences out and secure our border. Do you, Thank worry, you, about, very much. you worry about them trying to remove you? Some of your you know what? If somebody wants to remove because I want to be the adult in the room, go ahead and try. But I think this country is too important. And I will stand with our military, I'll stand with our border agents, I'll stand with those that have to get their medicine from government as well. I think that's too important. We have done 70, more than 70 percent of our job where the Senate has done nothing. The Senate can't even get something to the floor in time. We can. And you know what? If I have to risk my job for standing up for the American public, I will do that. This will require two-thirds vote of the House. Have you talked to Jeffries or any Democrats about Look, if they will support this? I talked to Hakeem yesterday. I talked to a number of Democrats yesterday. They kept, from a standpoint, didn't want they, want, they want to do Ukraine as well. I think that can have at a different day. I watched the Senate. They said, let's wait for the Senate. The Senate cannot bring us a bill before shutdown. They cannot get, government will shut down if we wait. I do not want that on our watch. I think this country is too important. I know the House has done their work. The Senate has not. The Senate hasn't passed one appropriation bill, and all of you have written these great raving stories about how great the appropriation process is going in the Senate. They've tried all month. They said they could get something going here. They can't get anything to us. So you know what? I'll put the American people first. We will finish our job. I will keep the House in to keep working on our appropriation bills, get it done during that time. But the Senate better get their work done. And the border has got to get secure. Mr. Speaker, if this bill goes down, is there a plan B? Well, if this bill goes down, tell me why do people want to have government shut down? That will be on those individuals. It wouldn't just be because of Democrats if this bill goes down. You need, you need Democrats and Republicans to vote for this bill. For that's right. That's right. So if Democrats don't want, if Democrats want to shut the government down, they'd vote against this bill. The, tell me what to argue if we're putting a stopgap measure 
with no politics in it that says we will continue funding government exactly as it is right now for 45 days while we finish our job. The only thing that we'll do differently is those who have suffered through a flood, through a fire and others, where the disaster money's not there, we'll make sure that disaster money's there so they don't get punished. It will look at our troops in the eye to say, yes, you don't have to worry about how you're going to make your rent. We're going to finish our job. We're going to secure our borders. We're going to look at the border agents that come back bloody securing our country and say, you, we don't want you in doing your job worrying about whether you're going to be able to make your car payment. We're going to do our job. We're going to be adults in the room. And we're going to keep government open while we solve this problem. Yes. And as we go through these approach bills, they are the most conservative approach bills that ever passed. You don't realize what we even achieved. The FSOP bill is the first time a Republican majority has passed that appropriation bill in more than 16 years. We're achieving things. I do not want to stop that momentum of getting our job. That is the way we'll be able to secure our border. If we shut the government down, the border agents don't get paid. The border is even further wide open. The president wants to ignore this problem. We're not going to allow him. He wants to ignore governing. He's the president of the United States. What has he done about keeping government open? Well, I'll tell you this. We are putting something on the floor that will continue to pay our troops. And if he wants to lobby against it and tell Democrats to vote against it, then the shutdown is on him. Why not, why not leave the, why not leave the, why not leave the, why not leave the, why not leave